Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here with the one and only Paxman, Michael J. Canavo. Mike, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank God there's only one of me. <laughs> I, don't <laughs> I don't think radiology could take more than Joanne. It could take more, more than one of me. Yeah. So um, day one of RSNA is wrapping up, and... Uh, you know, kind of people are leaving. It's getting a little light here in the halls, but uh, it's been a good day. But a lot of people have uh, not been able to make it in due to the weather. Uh, what kind of have you heard out there? Uh, same, same situation. It's, it's kind of shocking. I'm seeing a number of booths that aren't even set up. So apparently the weather has impacted, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the booth setups for some of the companies. And a lot of the companies don't have their key personnel here either. Mm. But it, it will change tomorrow and yeah. Tuesday, for sure. Yeah, Sunday's always been a little bit light. So, um, Mike, you are known as the PAX man, but you've also been following AI pretty closely. What kind of trends in uh, imaging IT are you seeing out there that encompass both of those areas? Yeah. PAX, there's maybe three or four new new vendors out there. There are several vendors that I've seen here to uh, this show that I hadn't seen in previous years. Smaller vendors, some from overseas, some some from the US. AI is all over the daggone place. I mean, you've got 100 vendors plus in the AI showcase downstairs, and you have, uh, gee, good gosh, every fourth or fifth booth has something AI related mm. in here, uh, so. It's, there's going to be a market shake out here pretty soon, but it's just a question of when. Well, it seems like it's kind of started started happening. You know, you've, we've had some acquisitions, we've had some consolidation, things like that. So, kind of slowly been building through the year. Do you see that picking up steam in 2026? Yeah, absolutely. The the only way that you can have six or seven hundred vendors and eleven hundred different algorithms out there is through mergers and acquisitions, mm -hmm. and that's what you're going to be seeing, and, unless some of these vendors go ahead and have a lot of OEMs. But uh, unfortunately, what you're seeing with some of the majors is the majors want to do their own stuff. They have this NIH attitude. If it's not invented here, it's not any good. Mm -hmm. So they want to do their own thing. Okay. Any particular use cases? It seems like reporting has been really hot, AI-based reporting. Anything else? AI-based reporting is extraordinarily hot. Uh, also, what you're seeing is quite a bit with uh, chest, uh, chest uh, uh, AI mm -hmm. and, of course, mammography mm -hmm. is a biggie. Uh, one of the things that I've, I've written about and, and should be in print uh, in the next week or so is there's going to be a shakeout in that market, not from a vendor perspective, but it needs to be an all or nothing. You can't go ahead and, and have people that selectively are willing to pay $40 for mammography for AI and those that don't. There'll be a, a chasm between the haves and the haves nots, and it's just ripe for uh, a class action suit mm. uh, against people that do that. Interesting. Now, there's been a lot of changes in the AI platform segment as well this year. Do you see that continuing to be healthy, or is that going to kind of have changes there? Well, some of it is from a hardware perspective. You know, it's not being uh, uh, gone ahead and, and processed in the cloud. With, with advances in, in AI, uh, in hardware, uh, you have a lot of it that actually doesn't need to go up to the cloud to be processed, so you can do it on-prem. On, uh, on mm. uh, cool. So. Uh, any other big trends you're, that you're seeing? No. There's unified packs is everywhere. Everybody's talking about unified packs, but uh, you know how they explain it is uh, up to the particular vendor. Yeah. You know, it's everything. It's RISC, packs, VNA, the whole shoot and match, and of course AI. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing is that very few uh, vendors uh, differentiate between cloud native and uh, cloud enabled, and there's a there's a huge difference between those in terms of performance. Yeah. So. yeah. Cool. All right. Anything else? No, that's it. That's it. Looking forward to uh, uh, being done with this RSA, to say the least. All righty. Well, no comment on that one. Uh, <laughs> signing off from uh, RSNA 2025, uh, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. Thank you, Brian.